Today we are looking at teenagers who got sentenced for committing serious crime. At 8, we have Jessica Araujo. She pleaded guilty to DUI manslaughter and was sentenced to life in prison. Police said Jessica Araujo sped through a red light April 21, 2016, in southwest Miami-Dade, and crashed into Najee Elkadi's car when he was only a few minutes away from home. Araujo's blood alcohol level was nearly three times the legal limit. She suffered from the disease of addiction, and it progressed, and unfortunately, it led her to make a really bad decision. The victim was days away from his wedding ceremony when he was killed. Do you think Jessica Araujo should be forgiven? At seven, we have Dylan Shoemaker. The 17-year-old was sentenced to life in prison after he was convicted of ending the life of a 23-month-old boy he was babysitting. In court, he tried to act sorry and heartbroken, but was exposed by the call recorder after he told his friend how he was going to act in front of the jury. I got a quote from the court reporter. I am a 16-year-old blonde. Probably all I have to do is cry in front of the jury, and they're going to feel sorry for me. And do you think he should be forgiven? At six, we have the 16-year-old Nicholas Lindsay. Nicholas Lindsay was sentenced to life in prison for the 2011 murder of St. Petersburg police officer David Crawford. On the 21st of February, he was arrested for committing a crime. While being drove to the station by the cop, he pulled out a gun and shot the police and fled the scene, but was later captured and sentenced to life in prison. While others cry when they hear their sentence, Nicholas smiled. Do you think he should be ever be freed? At five, we have Willard Miller and Jeremy Goodale. These teenagers were both admitted to killing 66-year-old Nohima Graber, their Spanish teacher at Fairfield High School. Prosecutors said the teens carried out the 2021 attack because of a bad grade Graber had given Miller. The two were 16 at the time. They were both given life in prison without parole. At four, we have Eric M. Smith, born January 22, 1980 is an American murderer who, at the age of 13, tortured and murdered a four-year-old child, Derek Joseph Roby. Four-year-old Derek Roby was walking alone to that same camp. Smith saw Roby and lured him into a nearby wooded area. There, Smith strangled him, dropped a large rock on his head, and raped him with a small stick. Smith took Kool-Aid from Roby's lunchbox and poured it into Roby's open wounds. Smith was convicted of second-degree murder in 1994 and sentenced to the maximum term then available for juvenile murderers, nine years to life in prison. Smith was granted parole in October 2021. After 27 years in prison, he was officially released in February 2022. At three, we have Jacob Matthew Morgan. He was 17 years old when he was convicted and sent to prison for a 2015 York County, South Carolina fire that killed his baby brother. Morgan was sentenced nine months later to 15 years in prison for setting a fire that killed his 14-month-old stepbrother. He was released after spending nearly half of his sentence. At two, we have Austin Myers and Timothy Mosley. They were both convicted of murdering 18-year-old Justin back in Ohio. These teenagers went to the victim house to rob him, but ended up murdering him by strangling him with a choke wire. Justin tried to fight back but was stabbed multiple times till he died. On the day of trial... Timothy testified against his friend Austin, but still pleaded guilty and was sentenced to life in prison. As for Austin, he begged the jury to spare his life and hoped to avoid a death sentence. But the jury didn't care at all and still sentenced him to death. At one, we have TJ Lane. In the year 2012, the 18-year-old opened fire inside the cafeteria at his high school killing three students. On the day of trial, he had a shirt on which had killer written on it. He was asked if he had anything to say to the victim's family, and he did this. He was sentenced to life in prison with no parole. 